All right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, today I want to focus on three verses, um, one in Jude and one in Revelation 6 and one in Revelation 20, and then I'm going to finish with a fourth verse. All right, and the key word that I want to focus in on is little season. All right, so we see that twice in the Bible, and they're both mentioned in the book of Revelation. All right, and the first mention is Revelation 6, and the second, Revelation 20. So it's important to understand the context of this phrase, little season. So if you're familiar with Revelation 6, it's when the six seals are opened okay so there are seven seals and the six seals are open it describes the six seals and the sixth seal is the end of the world and the seventh is that period of rest and everlasting life but in the context of verse 11 that little season okay is not the same as the little season in Revelation 20. Okay, the context of little season in Revelation 6 is this is the fifth seal. Okay, the fifth seal. So the context is a little season yet, then the sixth seal, which is the end of the world. Okay, that's the context. The context in Revelation 20 is the period of time after, after the thousand years, which is when we are up in the air and the enemy is gathered below at our feet. That's the little season okay so they're not the same thing very important that you understand that this little season is not parallel with this little season okay now in Jude verse 14 and Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these saying, Behold, the Lord comes with ten thousand of his saints. Alright. So, this verse, the Lord comes with ten thousand of his saints, I'm going to show you a fourth verse, which hopefully makes sense, because I don't know what you're reading if you don't get it. Honestly. All right, so in Revelation 20, after the thousand years, then is Satan loosed, right? After a thousand years are expired, Satan is loosed, and he goes out to deceive the nations to gather them together. Now, if you're saved, you're not part of this. Why? Because you are up in the air with the Lord. This is prophesied all throughout the Bible, okay? From Genesis to Revelation. When this happens, we are up in the air. Verse 9, encompass the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. The beloved city is New Jerusalem which is up in heaven. That city will come down out of heaven and be set on the earth. But before that happens the enemy must be destroyed. Okay? That's from Genesis to Revelation. 
All right. Now, let's go to, let's finish this off. Go to 1 Thessalonians 4. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. All right. So when we read here in Jude, behold, the Lord comes with 10,000 of his saints to execute judgment upon all. All right, so the Lord comes. We are lifted up to meet the Lord in the air. And then fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them.